What is up, au pairs? Welcome to another video. Even if you're not an au pair, hello. So, in today's video, I am gonna talk about five ways, yes, five ways to stay healthy, to have fun, to maintain your body. Because, listen, I am tired. Well, I'm not tired. But I get irritated when I see that this program is taking the most out of au pairs. Being an au pair is emotionally, physically, and mentally draining. And so I'm going to give you guys some five tips. These are the things that I do. Now, I must say, I'm not perfect at doing all these things. I just find that when I feel stressed or overwhelmed, because y'all, yeah, lately it's been a lot. I'm not even going to lie. But I'm here to encourage you guys. And these are just things that I've been trying and have helped me work. So, number one. Now, I know you guys love Netflix. Netflix, Amazon, Prime, TikTok, Hulu, Instagram, YouTube is amazing. But, girls, guys, go to bed and get some eight hours sleep. Because getting an eight hours sleep every single day will actually make you feel so much better in the morning. Going to bed at 1 a.m., 2 a.m. because you've been on your phone, on TikTok, is not helping you. Try and get at least eight hours of sleep every night because that's gonna give you energy for the next day. Because you know, these little tree, well, I won't call people children tree monsters, but these little amazing kids we look after can be draining at times. Number two, drink lots of water. I'm gonna drink some now. Yes, drink a lot of water, guys. I actually want more. Number the water's cold. Drink a lot of water. Drinking water is actually good for you. It's gonna help boost your energy. Now, I know we also have to have coffee because, child, I don't know how people who don't drink coffee survive around kids. But definitely drink your coffee, but also drink water because it's really good for you. Now, on the weekend, if you wanna have some adult juice, girl, go ahead. After work, if you wanna have some adult juice, girl, go ahead. It's tiring doing this job, but definitely drink your water too. Number three, Go for a walk, create a life outside of your house. So what I mean by that is like, go for walks, go for hikes, go hang out with your friends, go do stuff outside of your house. Because the reality is we do work and live at the same place. And I find when I'm super frustrated, or just irritated, or when it's just a long day, because there were tantrums, there were just moods everywhere, I always just try to like get out the house when I'm done, just to be like, or go even for like a 15, 20 minute walk. Now it's cold. I tried this last night and I was freezing. If you have me on Instagram, you saw that video. But I was freezing, so I was like, yeah, girl, no. I'm gonna, after work, I'm rather go and get myself a coffee at Starbucks, go to Starbucks, chill on my phone, or go to the gym, or do something out the house where you have you're creating a life outside. Oh, I got I can go to my friends. If you have friends, you have a boyfriend, go do something outside the house. It's better than you ending work and going to the basement and sitting in your room or going upstairs and sitting in your room. Go out the house, have a change of scenery. It's gonna just help you feel so much better because what's gonna happen is if you're feeling frustrated, you're gonna go from your job into your room to just sit in your room and watch TV and then it's gonna be like constant repeat and you're gonna start being, you're gonna start feeling irritated because that's all you have to do. Versus like leave the house, go watch a movie, go hang out with your friends, go do something, especially on those days when it's really hard. Number four, I always tell people at least three a week. Do workouts, whether it's a 30 minute workout in the morning before you start work, on your lunch break, before you go to bed, do a workout. A workout is actually good for you. It gives you like, there's, there's these terms. I don't know all the terms. But it makes you feel happy, people. It gives you the same amount of um, hormones like when you're laughing, I think, or when, you, when you're excited. So go work out. That's one thing I was like, I joined the gym last year for myself. And I found that working out is a great stress relief. When I'm done with work sometimes, I will go to the gym and just like, burn some calories because i'm like man i am so frustrated i just need to get all this energy out i just need to get all you know like you know be aggressive with the machines do not break them but yeah so working out could be a good way for you to also just stress relief have fun find workouts that work for you don't do workouts that you're just not enjoying do workouts that you enjoy uh i'm doing girl with joe um her app but i'm also doing 
there she also has other workouts on youtube that are free she does all these dances and she has like a whole vibe it's exciting so you could do that too number five is i would say find a skincare routine now all these things revolve around your space i would love to say cook or like paint you can paint you can paint in your room um i'm talking about like when you're done with work do a skincare routine or a spa have like a long bath girl go all out like fill the bath up put some um what's this thing bath bombs in there some bubble bath relax put your towel literally be like listen i'm tired it's been a week I try to do it at the end of the week, but I haven't had a bubble bath in a while, to be honest with you. I just, I'm just like super busy, but I have been having my self-care spa facials. So there's that, like just to put a mask on, put your hair back, um, paint your nails, do stuff like that that's gonna make you happy, pour a glass of wine. Um, but yeah, these are things, these are like small things that I find help me just <sighs> just like and I just switch my phone off if I don't want to or just leave the house just ways to be like you know what I'm not I'm not gonna be drained today I'm not gonna let the system drain me I refuse to just be tired I'm gonna enjoy my single or I even if I'm not single I'm gonna enjoy my being young phase um, and just not having kids and those are the things that help me and so if you are an okay even if you're not an okay and you just feel tired or drained or just these are five ways that could help you okay everyone 